This week, Nick, Audrey, and Mike will host another episode of our Emmy award-winning special, Weather Extremes. Tonight, a preview of what you'll be watching as AI is revolutionizing the world of weather forecasting. Our Audrey Puente shows us how it's happening faster than you might think. AI is at the forefront of forecasting technology. It's already being used by the National Weather Service to translate severe weather watches and warnings into other languages. As we're issuing forecasts and pretty much in real time and warnings, this model is able to take that and translate it into, um, you know, in, in our case, Spanish language and uh, simplified Chinese, you know, as we're you know, in real time. Improving the accuracy of forecasts will play a pivotal role in saving lives. Researchers at the University at Albany will be contributing to a $20 million institute that will be using artificial intelligence to improve our understanding of weather and climate and its societal impacts. Our theme is winter weather. And here up in New York, upstate New York, we have a lot of winter weather, so it made a lot of sense for us to lead that component. Christopher Thorncroft is the Director of Atmospheric Science Research at University at Albany, one of the first institutes in the country testing artificial intelligence and weather. The research is being funded by the National Science Foundation. The proposal is to develop uh, research that deals with um, developing tools and actionable weather information. Um, for various sectors. That could be the National Weather Service or it could be a public uh, service. For example, we are doing a project uh, with uh, the Department of Transport here in New York uh, based on their cameras. And uh, so the products that we develop, uh, are they going to use those to make you know, life and death decisions? That project involves collecting data from the DOT's cameras across New York State and running thousands of images through AI software, which will be able to detect if roads are wet, icy or snowy. The Department of Transport can't possibly look at every camera every five minutes, right? But using AI and those tools, we can come up with warnings that come up, set up a flag immediately, and that would allow the human to come in and look at a particular region and make that decision. Weather is the perfect big data opportunity. Kara Sulia is the director of Excite Lab here at the University of Albany. We actually are a resource for the Atmospheric Sciences Research Center and a lot of the different um, academic partners, and we provide both hardware and software expertise uh, when it comes to uh, GPU infrastructure, uh, AI development, machine learning development, big data, um, dealing with both weather and non-weather data. The lab is a mesmerizing room full of computers and monitors taking in real-time information from cameras mounted throughout New York State. Being in this space was hypnotic for a weather enthusiast like myself. That's too many for a human to necessarily manually um, um, operate. 24-7, and so this provides an opportunity for uh, AI to alert uh, forecasters or emergency responders, um, looking at all those camera images and know exactly where precipitation is occurring and in what quantity. Data from the 2400 cameras is combined with Mesonet data, a network of 126 weather stations across the entire state, built in the wake of Superstorm Sandy. These 30 foot by 30 foot plots with a 10 foot tower measure temperature, wind, rainfall, snowfall, and soil moisture every five minutes. It really addressed gaps that existed in New York State before that. Gaps between the traditional weather stations located at area airports. The lack of data was evident this past summer when over a half a foot of rain fell in the Catskills in July and central New York in August, resulting in dangerous flash flooding. They were dumping record-breaking rainfall amounts that led to flooding and loss of life and damage to property. And uh, the Weather Service has this tell, they were blind during that event because they didn't have enough stations. There are multiple models and there are multiple forecasts and they all have potential errors. And so as a guide, we're creating a model that is predicting the actual errors in those models. So it not only helps um, forecasters determine what may be the best forecast to rely on in a particular situation, but how to capture that error and how to communicate that error when they're actually creating their forecasts. It's an exciting opportunity to really um, advance the, the science and advance um, the ability to connect uh, a forecast to decisions, uh, to decision makers. Over many parts of the world, including where we are in the Northeast, there's going to be more frequent extreme weather and that's just going to get worse and worse as we go forward in time. University at Albany is one of several schools involved in the AI project. Other universities are incorporating artificial intelligence in studying tropical cyclones, tornadoes, and coastal oceanography. 
Reporting from Albany, New York, I'm Audrey Puente. And we do hope you'll join Audrey, Mike, and Nick when the Fox 5 weather team brings you Weather Extremes this Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, at 9 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. right here on Fox 5.